Good morning and welcome to 5x5 Five Five Outdoors. This morning, my son and I are on pursuit for some Idaho catfish. Come along with us and uh, see if we can catch some flathead, maybe a blue, and hopefully not get skunked. Have arrived so this is going to be a new spot for us we've never fished this before so let's see how lucky we can get so we have made it to the water all right ronnie what are you using i'm using a uh, carolina rig on my blue pole and i'm just using me lures um this is just a little rooster tail so you're going for kitty cats and anything else you can get yeah. Cool. I'm gonna tr try to go purely kitty cat. So, I got my heavy duty Walmart catfishing rig, and we're gonna give this a try and see how she does. And then we have my light roll. It's a favorite combo. Let's see how we do. So on my big cat fishing rod and reel from Walmart, just doing a nice circle hook, slip weight, and worms. That's what we're going to start out with today. There's a lot of different ways that you can put a worm on a hook. There's only one correct way, and that's the natural way. It. On my favorite rod, I'm set up the same way. Regular hook with a regular worm, just set naturally, and slip weight. Mm. And the fish are nailing the top water right now. Snagged already, eh? Snagged already? We just started. You get it off? Yep. Oh, you broke it. Yeah. Oh. Well, time to re-rig. Got both oh, poles out. Oh, looks like I might be getting a bite. Which pole? Uh, the big one. Well, let's wait and see if it keeps hitting it. 
mosquitoes are freaking killing me here. Uh -huh. What in the world happened to my needle nose? Did you leave it? Yeah, uh, we were using them. We were using them when Mom and I went fishing, but somehow they didn't get put back in my tackle box. So I was trying to use my cheap version of a strike indicator. It's a little bobber, a little hasp on it. But as you noticed in that little clip you just saw, that big pull's in the current. It's pulling the line, so I'm just gonna have to watch the tip of the pull on that one. Mosquitoes out here are bad this morning. But as you can see in the video, the small pull strike indicator is working pretty deep. You see it hanging down just a little bit off of that pole. You watch that bobber when you get a strike, the bobber will start jumping up and down even before the tip does. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit of a lazy way to fish, but when you're out here catfishing, why not? So since we've been here for a minute and I start looking around, I'm noticing something. Please do not be that person. The one that comes down to fishing holes and leaves all of their friggin' trash. Clean up your spot. Pack it in, pack it out. The best advice you could give anybody when you're going out in the woods you grab yourself a roll of mountain money don't see it on too many channels but we all know we do it and this right here could be more than gold when you're in the woods and that time comes along so don't forget to pick up yourself a nice roll of mountain money got our first bite all right take your bobber off Anything? What do you think? Got one? I think you got a bare hook. Nope. Put that worm back on better and cast her back out. You're done with that one, I'd double check that one. Well, first one was a false alarm. The wait continues. Well, I was editing another video and we may or may not have a fish on. Nope. Here comes our first boat fisherman of the day. Hopefully that'll be us here soon enough, as soon as I get my boat finished. Boat number two heading down. Well, from
from the looks of it, this must be a decent spot. That second boat turned around and he's working back up the channel now. Maybe he'll have a little more luck than we will. Fish on? Yeah, fish on. Whoa, never mind. It's a stick. Nope, that's a stick on. That was a world record stick right there. Well, take it off and got one. That definitely looks like a fish on. Are you hung up again? Got a fish? Definitely got a twig, I can see it. Twig and seaweed, no worm. Wow. I think we got some either little perch or little channels stealing our worms. He was just getting visited by a little river otter. See if we can uh, get him on film. As soon as I saw him and went for the camera, he went under and disappeared, but they're usually curious little creatures, so we'll see if he can come back up. Oh, just had a fish, right oh, there he is. I don't think he appreciates us being in a spot. He's barking at us. Well, there's a good chance uh, if we catch a fish, he's going to take it off of the hook for us. He's on. Look at that. Bait. Look at that world record. Ain't she a beaut? The world record uh, channel weighed uh, 125, I think. And, well, overall, the world's largest catfish overall weighed over 669 pounds. Facts. More you know. Sean. Not bad, not bad. 
bad. Not a world record, but. World record is uh, weighs 26.6 pounds. Oh, so I'm a pound or two under. It's close. It's close. It's real no. close. Well, it looks like our neighbors are having better luck than we are. Yeah. Dave, you're getting a bite. Which pull? That one. Keep going. Get it. Alright. Well, keep watching it. Looks like a decent fish. Well, it's now late morning and time to head back home and go do some chores. It's been a fun day. Wish we would have caught the monster, or at least something better. But it's still fun getting out. If you don't see any more videos from me, well, make sure to like and subscribe to this one. Kid doesn't know it yet, but he's driving us back to the pavement. So if I don't survive, make sure this channel blows up. For my wife and the rest of the kids. Oh God, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Stay off the sidewalks. <laughs>